I made a 10 inch lace closure wig off camera and then I went in with some very very sharp shears that only cost me about five dollars at the beauty supply store to cut this blunt cut bob you do not have to use clippers and buy these very expensive clippers to get this blunt cut bob you just have to be very precise you have to be have a very steady hand because as you can see your hand will kind of slip sometimes but once you go back in and uh, clean everything up you will have a nice blunt cut but all i'm doing is taking my shears and cutting a straight line just imagine having a line to guide you to cut um as if you were cutting a piece of paper um i started off in the front um of the wig to give me my length and then i am going in and doing the same length or cutting that way all the way around the unit I am now clean what I call cleaning up so when you're using shears you need to always press the hair down flat with your hand like I'm doing right now and you will see underneath on the bottom that everything isn't straight everything isn't perfect so I'll do that as I'm cutting my actual length and then I'll go back in in sections to make sure everything is even all the way around I want to make sure that everything is straight that everything is in place so I'm just going to go ahead and go through the entire unit finishing it off by giving my length and this is what you have it looks pretty blunt cut looks pretty good but you have to clean up a lot of people make the mistake by not cleaning up as you can see it's not even it's not uh, neat I'm just going through cleaning up these are a pair of five dollar shears from the beauty supply store just make sure whatever shears that you get that they are very very sharp also don't get scissor happy with your bob any type of bob that you're doing don't get scissor happy because i find that when i get scissor happy because i do sometimes i end up making my bob too short because i want it so perfect you have to remember that you're going to put the wig on your head anyway and you can make final touches once you have the wig on your head and as you can see this bob is perfect So I'm taking my flat iron and going through and giving myself a slight bump as well as cleaning up any pieces of hair that I may have missed um, when I was cutting the bob which is why I said don't get scissor happy because if you get scissor happy you'll end up cutting your hair too short you can always take away but you can't put it back on so always remember don't get too scissor happy whenever you're cutting any type of bob on a wig because you have to put the wig on your head to do the final touches
So this is basically the final result. Um, a simple middle part basic bob wig. Middle parts aren't my favorite, but they are easy for everyday wear, especially because this is a closure and it looks so nice. As you can see, everything is even, everything looks good because I did not get scissor happy. I keep saying that because I'm telling y'all, if you get scissor happy, you will mess up your unit. But this is the final result. Thanks for watching.